Androbium Film Update in the Care Collab series. Hi! Also, today, teaming up and updating us on their Dendrobium of Films are Fernanda, Nathimento Orchids and Succulents, Simply Orchids, Honeybees and Orchids, and Orchids 365. That should also have 24-7 on it. Good name, Orchids 365, pretty much. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and having a quick look-see. This has been now, oof, how many months in the making? I don't remember when we did the last original care collab, but here we are. Update time. Look at her go. Look at those blooms. From a distance, it looks really, really lovely. It looks like she's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. A little bit later this year than normal, but that is understandable. My nubbins started to develop, what, in January, and then they just didn't move at all. We had a very, very cold January, so they just stopped. And then in February, March, they started to get a move on, but they were still my new school. And then all of a sudden, boom, here she is. I don't know how many blooms are on here. I'm just happy to see them. I'm getting the occasional fragrance, even as far away as I'm standing now, which is approximately two meters. It is a very windy day, so Actually, I'm facing away from the orchid to protect the mic, which is weird. But anyway, <laughs> as long as there is none of this wind influence on the mic, I think it's going to work out. But yeah, from long shot, she is looking fabulous. Now, if I can fandangle my way into her closer, backwards, with the camera still focusing on the afilum, <laughs> Let me show you what's going on. Now, these blooms have been opened, all of them pretty much opened at the same time. And they all opened in about a week ago. A film blooms can last a good part of three weeks if everything comes together, you know, favorable temperatures, not so much wind like I'm having right now with the canes bashing against each other, which is not a good thing. I comfort myself, I tell myself I'm not growing for a show and in nature they would get bashed around as well. But still, we grow them because we want to enjoy the blooms for as long as possible. However, can you see my fading blooms in here? There and there, here, here, yes. They weren't open a week and they're failing, and that is because they are on canes that snapped last winter, well, during the winter of 2021, during a massive rainstorm. That is why I now have this corner here propped up with an iron chair to control the gate from slamming back and forth, pushing the canes weight up against the mount and snapping them. But here we are. At least they tried to bloom. I didn't lose the canes, but the longevity of the blooms on the broken canes is very, very short-lived. That is okay, I had my splash of color. It's just a shame when you grow something for a good part of a year and push the canes and then one split second of, well, it was 30 second freak wind does some damage and then well you don't have the display even for the short time that these blooms would be in bloom they get even shorter in their lifespan however we are on the move already for the next growth right there i think i have about seven all tucked in and under the mount of growths coming and all the little cakeys are also producing their new growths and I'm not expecting them to be proper sized canes this year. So she is not only in bloom, but she is also going nuts now on the canes, the new growths for the upcoming season. So right now I am pushing 300 parts per million of fertilizer onto the mount twice a day, especially on a windy day like this. I, I am very, very generous with my sprayer. 
I don't have to worry about the roots burning or whatever. This orchid is so hungry and 300 parts per million go onto that mount at a pH of 6.3, seeing as the cork really isn't deteriorating and I have no more sphagnum moss on that mount. So there is no issues with acidity and I can make sure that my nutrition, the balance goes in at 6.3, which is a good range for all the elements, calcium, magnesium, and all that good stuff that this orchid is going to need for the next eight months in order to get beautiful long canes again and hopefully not break them for the coming season. That's the plan. I do not see any signs of cakeys at this moment. Sometimes when the blooms go, the tips of the canes will produce some cakeys for me. I have not seen them just yet. This is an old one from last year. We'll see if that will shoot out its own new growth. Yes, it is. Can you see that? There's a tiny, tiny nub in there. See? And it's starting its own new growth. New plants, woohoo! Always, always welcome. And I wanted to show you something else just as a follow-up as well, quick update. Look at the inorganic mount that we were testing. <laughs> One little bloom. Isn't that amazing? Little cakey with its own little bloom. Baby of films on the go on the inorganic mount. I'm ready for the hot climate and I've sewed myself an extra layer of the extractor fan hob material filter thingy. Little pocket in the back, extra humidity and water retention. But yeah, it's in bloom. I thought that was so cute. New growths will be starting on these canes very, very shortly, if it hasn't already started right there. So we will be following this little gizmo as well. But it's first bloom, how cool. Just goes to show that an aphyllum doesn't have to be super mature, have super, super long canes to bloom. Of course, it is ideal to get the canes as long as possible so that the spectacle is as magnificent as possible. This is an aphylum that is now in its third season with me, and it came as very short, little stumpy, almost dead looking sticks is what I called them. And I thought, what am I supposed to do with those? Well, this is what I did with them. The original plant is, a, is probably three little sticks that have grown and the rest of them are keikis that have grown on and become what you see here now. So yeah, quick update. Well, quick, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I talk a lot when it comes to my orchids. I have to sometimes sit down, take notes and just follow my bullet points. But if I go rogue and do like a freelance chit chat, I do talk a lot and I appreciate your patience so very, very much. If you have any more questions regarding this film in my climate here in Southern Spain, the link to the original Care Collab video is in the description. And if after that there are still questions, my goodness, please feel free to ask away in the comments below. Also, I would like to encourage everybody that has an film that in future will see this video and wants to be a part of the care collab, the updates, anything like that with regards to a film or any other orchids that you and I have in common, please, please also let me know in the comments below in any video where you might see said orchid that we have in common and we can correspond then by email and get you on the list for future updates, future care collabs. Thank you once again to Fernanda Nacimiento Orchids and Succulents, Simply Orchids, Honeybees and Orchids, and Orchids 365 for jumping on board, showing your films. What are they doing? How are they doing? What are your plans for the coming season? Looking forward to seeing those videos. Thank you everybody who has watched my video here. Really appreciate your time. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day and please stay safe. Take care. Bye. Bye.